Given the complex nature of sigma females and the ability to do a plethora of things at the same time and be good at them, it can be very difficult for them to determine a career path that best suits their abilities. Choosing a career path is not as simple as most people think for sigmas. To make a better career choice, sigma females must be able to tune out the voices of their parents, teachers and peers, telling them what they can't and cannot do. Statistics has shown that most sigma females end up being self-employed either because they got tired of working under someone or their job was not a good fit for them because they did it to please someone or because they were told so. Collecting a bunch of A grades in school is not a sure guarantor of a good career path. It will land you a six-figure job straight out of college, but it won't guarantee for how long you will keep that job. What Sigma females really need from a career is not the pay package, but how much satisfaction they can get. The worst thing that can happen to Sigma female is stagnation, the inability to use their creative juices. Career path that don't offer personal growth and development are not suited for Sigma females. Career paths that are filled with routines are equally bad for them in the sense that they will be bored by repetition and the mundane nature of such jobs. Any job that does not get the Sigma female thinking, planning, strategizing and re-strategizing is generally not suitable for them. Part 1. Career path Sigma females should never pursue. Any career path that requires too much attention and care from Sigma females should generally be avoided. Jobs that require them to be in close contact with people at all times should be avoided. Jobs like nursing, waiting, bartending and being a receptionist are not meant for Sigma females because they are not people persons. They get drained by being around people. Such jobs come with routines and a lot of repetition and Sigma females hate to do the same thing more than once. Any career path that requires a lot of submission and obedience like the army should generally be avoided because these types of jobs don't require the white and black mentality of Sigma females. They require total submission, total obedience and no questioning of others and hierarchy. Things the inherently recalcitrant and strong head Sigma woman can afford to do. But two, career paths Sigma females should consider pursuing. It is advisable that Sigma females should choose career paths that are in sync with their Sigma energy. Careers that cater for their core needs, the need to know, the need to be useful and the need to be the best. They also need to take into consideration how much that career path will allow them to grow and develop both personally financially and career-wise. The need to choose career paths that offer a lot of flexibility, adventure, novelty and challenges. There are a lot of fields out there that Sigma females can build sustainable career paths out of. But to ensure that they choose a long-term career path that will offer them lots of satisfaction, the following pointers should not be overlooked. 1. Autonomy and Creative Control they should choose career paths that give them the autonomy to model their skills the way they see fit and necessary. Career paths that allow them to be the master of their own craft and exert control over the entire creative process. 2. No immediate bosses or micromanagement. Micromanaging a Sigma female is an indirect way of telling the Sigma you doubt their abilities, professionalism and job ethics. Looking over their shoulders when they are working and giving them unsolicited advice is often seen as an insult to their integrity.